Hello guys, in all our previous videos, we assumed that the attacker and the target are in sync in time. That means we assume that the server is up and listening all the time. But what will happen if the hacker machine was offline or for some reason that connection didn't happen properly? Then in this case, our client or backdoor will crash with exception error. So currently here on the Kali side, I didn't run the script, so we are not listening on any port. So I will start Wireshark. Okay, and let's sniff <coughs> on the Ethernet interface. And then I will go to uh, get the IP address of our target. And the IP address, it is 192.168.0.163 so here let's quickly just filter on this IP address okay and, and right now I will start our script as usual so let's see what's gonna happen okay so as you can see because the port is closed uh, the Kali Linux is replying with TCP reset and as you can see as well, um, the connection, we got a connection ex uh, exception and uh, uh, the script has been crashed. So today we're gonna fix this. So on the client side, I updated the code and created a function called connect. This function contains the, the same exact code that we did previously with our HTTP uh, reverse shell. Then I created a new infinite loop with an exception handling. So whatever the reason is, if we got any exception for initiating the connection, then we're gonna sleep for a random time between one to 10 second, and then pass that exception and we'll try to connect again. In real world scenario, you need to be more patient and make it, for example, from one to 10 minutes. Remember that the more quiet we are, the less chances to get caught. Now the question is how to terminate the process as we now have two infinite loops here. So let me just clear the screen. So we have this first infinite loop and we have the second one. And a single break command will not do the job for us. So what we can do instead if we received a terminate command from the Kali side, then we will exit this function and return a value of one. And in the second, um, in the second loop, if the connect function returned a value of one, then we will break this second, um, this second loop and breaking this second loop will terminate or exit the execution of the entire script. Okay, so let's quickly test this modification. So let me just restart the capture on the Wireshark and then I will try to run the script. Okay, as you notice that the client keeps trying to reach to the Kali side uh, and uh, randomly between one to 10 seconds. And it keeps, you know, keeps trying until we got um, a connection. Okay, so let's start the listener on the Kali side. And it should be listening. So, yep, here is the TCP send. And here is our shell. Let's try to test the terminate function to make sure that it's still working. So terminate. And the script has been terminated successfully. So if we do restart to the capture, we shouldn't get any um, HTTP connection again. And that's perfect. Thank you very much guys for watching.